going to show you how to do the double knotted fringe like I have here. Once you have on your single knotted fringe, all you have to do is take them in two groups at a time and work with an even number of strands from each group. So since my individual fringes here are made up of four strands each, I'm going to be using two at a time to make my double knotted fringe. And if you look here, you'll see the very first one that I did for the first group of single knotted fringe. I just used all four strands, otherwise you're just going to have a couple strands hanging out, not tied to anything, and it's going to look a little bit funny. So for the first bunch and the last bunch, I'm using all four strands to tie my knot in. But I'm here in the middle, so I have these two strands I'm going to call the left fringe, and then I'm going to take two strands, I'm going to call these the right fringe. So you take your right fringe, just lay it over top of the left fringe, like this, and I keep my finger here between the groups of fringe or the strands of fringe. Reach underneath, grab the right fringe and pull it under. I still have my finger through here. And that is because I'm now going to take my two strands of right fringe and tuck them right down in there. And then I'm just going to pull on them to tighten up my fringe, or my knot. And there is my double knotted fringe. It's kind of hard for me to make my knots even, but you can play with them a little bit once they're all tied and even them up a little bit. I think it's easier to move them down than it is to move them up. So let me show you again, working with an even number of strands from each group of your single knotted fringe. You just take your right fringe, lay it over top of the left fringe, and I'm doing mine kind of high up because it's easier to move the knot down once it's tied. So reach underneath and grab those two strands from the right fringe. Tuck them down in. You have something like this. You can just pull on your right fringe to tighten up your knot. Let me just finish this up here. And then I'll show you the working the end pieces. Right fringe goes over the left fringe. Right fringe goes under the left fringe. Tuck your two tails down and pull on them to tighten up your knot. So I'm at my last two fringes here, and I'm going to use all four strands from my last group of single fringe. And you just do it the same way as you were doing before. Right fringe goes over the left fringe. Wrap it underneath. Tuck your tails in. You might find a crochet hook useful for that. I think it's easier just to use my hands. And then pull on your right fringe tails to tighten your knot. 
and then even them out or you could leave them uneven if you wanted to go for that look and then trim your tails and that is double knotted fringe to do the triple knotted fringe like I have here you of course need to have attached your fringe already to your finished item and you need to do a row of double knotted fringe and the triple knotted fringe is worked the same way as the double knots you just want to take equal strands an equal number of strands and tie them together so again your right fringe crosses over the left fringe you bring it underneath tuck your tails in and tighten up your knot if you're going to be doing the knotted fringe like this you want to make sure that when you start out doing your single knotted fringe which is attaching it to your finished piece it needs to be at least several inches longer than what you want your final fringe length to be because tying all of these knots takes away from the length and then also if you plan to trim up and even the ends of your fringe that's taking away from the length as well but that is all there is to the triple knotted fringe.